Welcome back everyone. In this episode we're going to talk about something really important to the arborist, which is their lanyard. And specifically we're going to talk about my favorite lanyard setup and all the specific pieces of equipment required to make it. So if you're looking to make a lanyard and you don't know what to buy or how to make it or how to assemble it, this video is for you. So we're going to go one by one through all the pieces of equipment. First we have a, this is either 12 or 15 feet of rope. It is 10 millimeter rope made by Yale. The exact name eludes me, but they sell it at Westbur. You can find it and it's pretty easy to recognize. It's this nice cool color with a great pattern. Um, I have, you can pay at Westbur to have them make a sewn eye on this particular rope. I think that's really a useful thing if you have the money. It's only like $18 and that way you don't have to keep tying a termination knot every time you, you know, it's a knot to connect your harness to the rope, you can just, you know, slip a carabiner in and you're good to go. So I think that's really worth the investment if you're gonna, if you're serious about making the lanyard. Um, also, I take the time to always melt the ends of my rope and I also whip them. Um, this is not necessary, like absolutely necessary, but I think it's something that you should everyone should consider because you don't want these ends, the innards coming out and you know the whole thing milking. Milking is when the core comes out of the sheath um, or the sheath comes off of the core. Uh, you don't want that separation. So I have a video about how to do this if you look in my library. Anyways, moving on. The next thing that I have are two carabiners. Um, these are DMM carabiners. I can't remember exactly what they're called, um, but the, you can use any carabiner. Um, if you are a working arborist, you need you know locking carabiners. You can't just have a screw gate carabiner. You need double action or triple action. Um, these require you know, very three very distinct motions to open up the gate, so it makes you very secure on them. Uh, I like these a lot. I like their oval shape. I would never make a lanyard with anything but oval carabiners. I think that's really important. Um, next, I have a pulley. This is a DMM uh, hitch climber pulley. It allows you to put the pulley on the rope from you know the middle. You don't have to do it from the ends. And it has three attachment points, which you'll see in a minute why that's really useful. Um, I think these are great. Highly recommend them to anyone. This is predominantly for uh, slack tending purposes to, you know, take, to move the friction hitch that you use all across the rope. Then I use also obviously a friction hitch. Um, this is the hitch cord that I use on my current lanyard setup. It is a Sterling RIT um, nine millimeter hitch cord, and it is 13 inches in length. No, I'm sorry, it's uh, 30 inches. It's 30 inches, and this is really just perfect for the job. And next, I use this. Um, I believe this is eight millimeter 
18 inch Prusik loop with a ring on it and this is to help me make connections around a limb if I want to turn my lanyard into a separate line like an SRT. Um, if I want to go single rope technique with my lanyard then I can do, I can do that using this without cross-loading carabiners. So I'll show you what that means in a minute. So, first step. <clears throat> we have all this rope. Now we're going to attach everything where it needs to go. So, first we have carabiner here. That's going to go in here. Next, we are going to make a friction hitch. Now here you can use any friction hitch of your choosing. This can be anything from a Schwabish to a VT to anything. I'm going to um, tie a, I'm going to tie a hitch that I came up with, um, it's called the Trinity Hitch, and it's really secure, and it grips like crazy, so, you know, and I, I find that with my friction hitches for um, lanyards, I want them to grip a lot more readily than with friction hitches on my climbing line. So, anyways. Okay, so. If you don't know how to tie this, which I assume most people don't because I came up with it and it's not mainstream, you can look into my library of hitches, hitch videos, how-to videos, and you can see how to tie the Trinity Hitch. So here we have it. Tie Trinity Hitch, and next we're going to install the pulley. Make sure that when you've, when you're putting on the hitch that you don't put it on in the wrong direction. You want the orientation to be correct. So you don't want it to be going, you know, the other direction. You want it because this is going to clip onto your harness and then this is going to clip also onto your harness. So now we're going to install the hitch climber pulley and you put the eyes on the rearmost eye or um, inlet for a carabiner, so the hole rather. And then this is where you install the second carabiner. Right here. Turn it around. Okay. And now. Um, the next step is to attach this here, which is my this is my Prusik loop, and the way this is going to connect is I'm going to take it. And put it through and create a regular six coil prusik. Once again, if you don't know how to tie this, I have videos on it. I don't mean to keep plugging my videos, but you know, it's a YouTube channel. Um, so. I've made the six coil Prusik and I now make sure it's really 
securely on there. And then I'm going to store it this way. I will insert the ring into the carabiner, lock the gate, and then let it hang here. But you need to make sure that you pull it out so that most of the tension is going onto the climb or the line here, the rope. So that way um, you can, it doesn't get in the way. You know, that way you can use it without it getting in the way. So now the way this will work is, oh, one more thing. Basically my assembly is complete. Um, there's one last thing that I need to do to make this climbable, and that is to put a stopper knot onto my line. And for this, I'm just going to do a uh, triple overhand. Okay, that way I don't slide off the end of my line if, God forbid, my friction hitch were to fail. So now I can take this, I'm going to show you without blocking the camera, I'm doing this left hand, which is not my dominant hand, so I'll do it this way. So I lock into the attachment point on my bridge, and now when I need to go over a limb, I can go over it and then connect back in like that. But what's great about the triple attachment pulley is that I don't have to do this anymore. Because I have the triple attachment pulley, I can connect to my pulley instead of my attachment point. And that leaves this less cluttered because typically already I'll have my climb line, you know, attachment point um, secured here also. So my main, you know, access line. So once you, so now that you can, you know, do this and you can go around the limb and it's completely adjustable. I can adjust it any way I want to any length. And if I need to take in slack, I just pull it in with the pulley. And so this is always going to lock because that what's that's what friction hitches do. And I'd like to point out how cool my custom hitch looks when it's extended. Um, anyway, you can then draw out more line if you need it, or take it back in, and then it'll always lock. And so now, moving on to what is this for? So, okay, what this is for is, let's say I want to use my set up as a, as an SRT because this is you know a lanyard is effectively a doubled rope. Um, if I want to do SRT I can um, sorry take this bring it up above the gate open it take it out and then let's pretend that there is a big limb right up here and so we go around it and we then connect it to the other end so we're around this limb right here now that frees me to be on a single rope like this with my lanyard I can use my lanyard as a second rope or uh, as a single rope which is pretty cool. Um, anyways, yeah, that's been um, my tutorial on making lanyards and my current lanyard setup. I think, um, you know, 
If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If you like this uh, video, please consider hitting like, or if you like all my material, or most of it, or even one video, <laughs> uh, please hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.